do a farmer's market up here. Uh, the old library is here. It's where all the moms go. Probably where I should be hanging out. Joke, joke. Truth. Also, people ain't seen no electric bikes. They go, what? <laughs> that sound is awesomeness. Casa Roblins. Saran tends to bring your pants up your butt. Thank you, my man. We're electric. Saran. So S-U-R-R-O-N. About 4,000 bucks, but it's the top quality. That's sexier than my old 250X. I love it. Oh shit, Faso showing the love already. Oh, electric, huh? Yes, sir. You need a registration for that? What's that? You need a registration for that. You don't. So it's a, technically it's a legal bike. If I had pedals, they couldn't get me at all. But because I don't have pedals, they could technically, they could screw with me. Wearing a helmet though too, like with a bike, you don't have to have a helmet on either, do you? Yeah, but this goes 60 miles per hour, bro. So. Idea for sure. Yeah, no, no, and then you don't get messed with either. You know what I mean? If you look official, you're kind of good. It's about four grand. Saran. Thanks a lot, man. Wow, compliment number two. Look at the rumors are true. We do have a movie set here. This is like a San Francisco video where I get to show you cool shit. It's actually in Paso. I think the show was This Is Us. Definitely a movie set. show you the new place I hang out at guys <laughs> you would have never thought the electric life would have turned into the gardening life but that's kind of what I did man you moved to Paso Robles from San Francisco and you kind of go I got some land let's grow some shit I never got it my mom was a gardener and I used to hate it as a kid coming to these kind of places just funny now I get it Watch your speed around corners, guys. So, you might scare them, but you're not going to be dangerous. Can't resist. Oh, this one, this one went away. Definitely being able to go off road is a cool touch. I was thinking about buying an Onyx, but I really. I don't know if I have a need. I upgrade this battery. And I'm, I'm good. Albertson. If in Paso Robles, you must come to this shopping mecca. Is there? little Paso walk that they never really finished. Man, look at that. I could go get dirty in that riverbed, but I'd get the ticket. And the homeless people live in there probably. Not much faster. Yeah, I want to get used to riding standing. I want to get into it, guys. This is looking like a horror movie. There is actually a lot of homeless down here, guys. So 
they carry guns they do weird shit there's murders so definitely don't come down here thinking like ah oh, i could come down here and pick the flowers and do my own thing like nah let's ball it This bike is so fucking fun. Ha 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 ha, parking guy ain't gonna get me. But first, honestly guys, make sure this little little place used to never be like this it's like you can't make a left turn or a straight to save your life my opportunity to the park over here. This is the most popular spot in Paso Robles. And this little square right here. Is going to be where we used to have our old shops. If you guys have ever seen it. They used to put tubes in a vacuum and they'd send them along the whole thing. And so this general store has probably been one of the oldest stores in Pass Robles. Used to take off the whole thing. And now we got all the fancy, you know, food places and that kind of thing. Best Mexican food anywhere. Fish Gaucho. This place is always a rockin', always busy, always a lot of people out. Usually a line to get in, but uh, definitely if you guys are in Paso, this is a great place to hit up. Good drinks too. One of the things, you know, Mexican food can be good, but when you get the drinks right too, man, you got a reason to be down there. So I'm gonna go real slow here till I get to this back alley. And this back alley has some of the best barbecue in Paso. So if you guys are coming here for barbecue, you want to sneak down here. Whoop. Looks like they know where to go. Back here is Jeffrey's Wine Country Barbecue. You come back here, you get a good seat, lots of space. They got little heaters if it's cold. Um, and basically you walk up, there's a little service line, get your stuff and uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool, cool, cool. Norma's Alley. That's new. I, I, I didn't even know this was like coin something. Alrighty, coming around the park. Definitely the Paso Park 
is a highlight. The square has been here forever. They've remodeled it. Anything that goes on in Paso Robles is going to ha happen due to some event at this park. They do a farmer's market up here. Uh, the old library is here. It's kind of like where everything is just centered around. You've got the high school coming here to do their group, whatever. Uh, you got kids, a little park, a uh, little playground where all the moms go. Probably where I should be hanging out. Joke, joke. Truth. Anyways, kind of cool. Nice little uh, rectangle we got here. Nice and clean. Also, people ain't seen no electric bikes. They go, what? <laughs> that sound is awesomeness. Fast Roblins. All right, I'm gonna bring you over here. It's a little awkward, a little straight away. But we got the poor house. I'm probably the other cool bar to come to. Owned one of my by one of my high school buddies, and uh, not just because she owns it. Uh, this has been here for a couple decades of just good music, a lot of good history. And once again, park. Had one of my infamous uh, high school uh, police incidences. Police came to the car. Me and my buddy were sitting in it, watching his like sister's kid have a ball game. And the cops thought they could come and embarrass us, find the weed. But the weed was hidden in the steering wheel of the old Honda Civic. You didn't know about that, did you, copper? Anyways. house guys located over here at the edge of Paso really cool spot you usually like see a band here that's doing their thing um, really good outdoor seating they do a lot of good events so they mix it up so it's like tournament night and uh, yeah just all kinds of good stuff so I recommend the poor house as well I'm sure my see entertainment they got a whole little little board up there let's see here I want to keep this moving. I don't want to see someone I know because I'll be stuck here for hours. But this is what I'm saying, guys. Like, they just got a great, great schedule. This is my band I know, guys who were like a year, our year and a year below us. Cool spot. They just got a lot of, a lot of good stuff. I don't even know if they're open yet. I don't think so. All right. Now you've seen Cal Coast, now you've seen the Poor House. We're pretty much up to date on the best stuff we got. Let's do a little uh, outskirts of town here, get a little riding going, and uh, yeah, we'll have some fun here. Go ahead, civilian. Yes, I want you in front of me. When they don't know what they're doing, Pants are up my butt. Another thing I don't like. Saran tends to bring your pants up your butt. You good, my man? I got you. Try keep it at thirty. Just keep me. So I don't have any more police on me today. Got going on the pass up. People still don't know how to drive around here. That's the scary thing. It's twice as many people and they got worse as drivers. I'm not sure how that works, but that's what happened. Movie 
theater brought the whole thing over here it was the park and really nothing else and literally this movie theater and there was a pizza place here that went on for a while that was like what started this whole thing of restaurants and bars my dad is an old mechanic he used to send me down here pappy mcgregor's used to be a uh, parts store so did this place go pick up the clutch or little parts or whatever you know anything i could on my bicycle Okay, that's where that turn signal helps. Informs all of us what you're doing. All right, guys, let's get some seriousness to this here. I like to say I smell fresh air, like we're not in the city, but it's like, I smell a lot of, I smell paint. It smells like paint out here. Thank you, my man. We're electric. Saron. So S U R R O N, about four thousand bucks, but it's the top quality. That's sexier than my old two fifty X. You plug it in three hours, you're good for thirty miles. Oh shit! Faso showing the love already. What's that? You don't. So it's a technically it's a legal bike. If I had pedals, they couldn't get me at all. But because I don't have pedals, they can technically they can screw with me. You wear a helmet though too. Like with a bike, you don't have to have a helmet on it either, do you? Yeah, but this goes 60 miles per hour, bro. So. Smart idea for sure. Yeah. No, no. And then you don't get messed with either. You know what I mean? If you look official, you're kind of good. It's about four grand. Saran. Thanks a lot, man. Wow, compliment number two. All right, we're going to do a little outskirts of Paso, guys.
killing it. Killing it. Have a horn. I couldn't find it. <laughs> ah, there it is. This is like where our little wine empires are, where it's like, off the highway, we build a thing, and then we partner with a winery, and we kind of give them the experience, but the world, world winery is, you know, miles actually in the hills, but whatever. Look at the rumors are true, we do have a movie set here. I know from my experience in San Francisco when you see trucks like this. Wow, this is like a this, this is like a San Francisco video where I get to show you cool shit. It's actually in Paso. I think the show was This Is Us. show you the new place I hang out at guys. <laughs> you would have never thought the electric life would have turned into the gardening life, but it's kind of what I did man. You moved to Paso Oval from San Francisco and you kind of go, I got some land? Let's grow some shit. So anyways guys, love this place over here. Love this place. Actually this is indoor lumber. I actually don't love that. But I do love love. This is where we bring all our big trucks. I always love parking in here because it's literally like Escalade, Suburban, Escalade, Suburban, Big Chevy, Dodge. Down the line, love loads. I never got it. My mom was a gardener and I used to hate it as a kid coming to these kind of places. We had this Paso Robles uh, downtown that was very famous. And uh, 
It's funny, now I get it. Shamed it took me so long, but it's how it is sometimes. Thankfully, I can't carry anything. There was a time, it was like three or four days in a row, I just kept going to that place. This parking lot gets a little tricky. A little tricky for sure. So you just end up wanting to take it slow. Give me a chance to look down. Battery I got. Which when you got bad eyes, I can't really see it. I think it's a 80. shit go this is a tricky one this one gets up to speed pretty quick and I don't know people get to be idiots on this one so I'm gonna let this go this is where your instincts best to trust your instincts everyone take a second Shake it out, right? See if you can read the battery. Oh, it says 70. 70 something. straight away that's okay but man if I could get to, uh, to something a little bit more spicier I would be the way to go Let's see what rolling hills has to offer
it's like I didn't remember that street and then I popped up here and I'm like I remember that shortcut high school that's funny yeah Williams Plaza used to go off over here not so much anymore not so much anymore park over here is where we all grew up and they kind of like when we were in high school they finally built this and put like basketball courts and did the whole whole shebang but it's kind of cool there's a trail if you're ever riding a bike or a scooter or something electric where they actually comes down through the middle of this so let me show you i'll connect it i'll show you the one cool bike trail and pass out there Now, I could go off-roading and be that guy, but I respect the landscaping. I know how hard work that is. How much hard work that is. A little shortcut. cool for EUC because um, there's a little bit of off-roading with this little trail. Outlet goes out to, uh, let's see. Let's put it out here. Let's put this past Robles map together for you guys here. We come out on Melody and uh, Lana. Melody and Lana. All right. So this is uh, the beginning of it right here. Whoop. This will bring you all day, all the way down to uh, Albertsons. And, uh, I'm going to show you Paso Robles' favorite spot. You cannot go wrong with Albertsons. Even if you were single, I should just shop there every day. But pretty cool when this is lit up and nice little pathway, Paso. You've done good. You've done good.
definitely being able to go off-road is a cool touch. I was thinking about buying an Onyx, but I really, I don't know if I have a need. I upgrade this battery. And I'm, I'm good. I don't need any more toys after that. That's for sure. You must come to this shopping mecca because this is what every pastor my mom used to live to come here she loved it she admitted it's a good market i'll give it that it's just funny pastor pastor in love pastor be in love with albertson and to their credit there's not another really good market so kind of no competition no competition keeps it easy. 
We used to have a Lucky's, we used to have a Safeway, so there used to be at least some kind of competition to these guys. But now, it's just uh, pretty much Albertsons. Pretty much Albertsons. Now, a close second is going to be the CVS Pharmacy for sure. That's just one of those that, you know, people got to go, go to CVS, go to Albertsons. Walgreens across the street. So this is, uh, if the park is the center of life, then uh, this is the center of shopping and functionality. And if you hit those two boxes, pretty much, pretty much hit the boxes from Paso. Um, let's see, I'm actually, let's go ahead and, I can cross over actually, come down, and then, I want to show you this riverbed that's over here. a walk that they never really finished. Nice little facility though. Could go get dirty in that riverbed, but I'd get the ticket, and the homeless people living there probably not much bad.
this like the fake smile. I like that. Better than speaking her mind. Although I don't think there's enough people out here to be Karens about electric vehicles yet. I think they don't even know what it is yet, so before your your brain goes to be a Karen, you're like, wait, I don't know what it is. I don't know how to complain yet. He's going slow by me, you know, and if you do everything right, that's the thing. It's like if she complain and I'm going this speed, it's like that's on her. Now if you go around the corner and you're a jerk and I ran into those people at the other park, that's on me. So, guys, just represent us. Common sense is badass. Speaking of common sense, where are we at? Another battery here. I think we're down to, we're down to 60. We're doing pretty good. Actually, a lot of homeless down here, guys. So they carry guns, they do weird shit. There's murders, so definitely don't come down here thinking like, ah, I could come down here and pick the flowers, and do my own thing. Like, nah, something like this. Any anything that is valuable, you do not want to take them. People are funny. You guys probably say the same shit about me. Let's see if my buddy, buddy was home. He ate randomly outside.
Francisco. This bike is so fucking fun. Once you learn it, once you learn it, once you get into it, once you know it. Parking guy ain't gonna get me. Street's the little uh, famous street where I did the uh, Christmas lights. This is like uh, a lot of residentials. A lot of the houses that you wish you would have bought 20, 30 years ago. Because they're worth millions. Middle school here, been forever. 
where most of us went to middle school, Lamson, to what, six through eight. food perfect guys beer good food good ride hope you guys enjoyed the uh, tour of Paso Robles on the Saran it was cool to get around I, uh, I dig it I dig it dig it dig it dig it Still at 40%, so it's uh, pretty killer. Mm. It's getting cold out here. All right, guys, thanks for coming. Thanks for the ride. Saran is out.